Is their pricing not bad at all? Or you become a member. I right, so you got stroller and wheelchair and scooter rentals right here in the front. First things first, I'm gonna go inside the gift shop, see if I can find a hat. Alright, so I am not seeing hats. Yeah, I'm not seeing any. Wait a minute, I see them. Alright, so I like this hat here. It's $25. Definitely need a hat for today. Just got lots of plush in here. Thought I'd show you the rest of the, the gift shop. And you got some snacks. A lot of little mini toys. Because zoos are very popular with children. You come here with school groups, summer camps, church groups. And of course, they come with their parents and grandparents. Get kid sized shirts. And you got games and activity books, storybooks. Hey everybody, Tommy for Tom's Road Trip, and I'm in Lincoln, Nebraska, and today I'm visiting the Lincoln Children's Zoo. Now, don't let the Children's Zoo fool you, it's not just for children, I'm a child at heart, but they have a whole lot of stuff here. It's a hot day, so I'm hoping the animals are gonna be out. You see I'm wearing the hat that I got at the gift shop, and I also got a drink. So it came to just under $30. I was supposed to come here last year, but because of inclement weather, I was not able to come to this place, so I was happy to find out that they are open till eight o'clock on Wednesdays, and today's Wednesday, so it's perfect. Come here to explore this fantastic facility. It is AZA accredited, so that is always good. I'm gonna see a map right here, and I'll show you, and we're gonna decide which way to go. So there we go. Got lots of stuff here to see. I said I'm hoping the animals are gonna be out. See what I see though. So I'm right here at the main entrance. See Treetop Toys and you are here. That's where I'm at. So I'm going to show you everything on this part and then move up to the upper area. First thing I'm going to come to is Red Panda. It's a Red Panda habitat. So this is going to be a hot day so chances are the animals are going to be inside. Yeah, so right here you got the Hubbard Center. It's gonna go inside. All right, right inside the building, got restroom locations. Yes, yeah, so here's the red panda indoor habitat. Ooh, ooh. Do you see a red panda? In here sleeping. There we go. Absolutely love red pandas. All right, giraffe. Hey. How are you? Very nice. Look at this. So they do have giraffe feeding here. Of course, you got all the hay up there to enjoy. How are you? Doing okay? Does feel nice in the shade though. Of course, these type of animals are used to heat. Ha! Huh, yeah, you guys are used to it, aren't you? So yeah, they do have the giraffe experience. Pricing for the giraffe feed. They also got the Wild Safari Theater right here by the giraffes. Alright, so from the giraffes. Little pathway here to the left. Got the tiger encounter. All right, Sumatran tiger. All right, tiger habitat is very, very nice. You 
We've got a little cave den area. Got this cool safari jeep that you can sit in. Get some pictures, especially if they're on top of the other side of the jeep. All right, so the animals do have access to go inside. And that's most likely where a lot of the animals are probably gonna be today. All right, so I will check back later. Maybe a tiger will be out. Playing the water, maybe. And you got Cafe 65. All right, they got grab and go. And sides and snacks. And beverages. All right, got the secret jungle building. This is right near the Sumatran Tiger and Cafe 65. And inside is this large play structure for the kids. Yeah, all sorts of stuff for the kids to climb on. And inside you got Spider Monkey. Like the Spider Monkey habitat. Ooh, spider Monkeys are right up above. Kind of wrestling with each other. Got the jungle outpost. We've got a red shoulder macaw named Wallace. Guess is Wallace. That's cool. Yeah, you see a little bit of red. Just a little teeny bit of red right there. Then we got a blue crown parakeet named Sydney. Sydney. Go on the other side. Sydney's having some food. Here you can see the blue right on Sydney's head. Next we got a Colombian black and white tegu named Skittles. Here is Skittles. I like how Skittles has a little mirror. Look at themselves in the mirror. <laughs> Got a little ball in there to play with. It's a very nice looking habitat. We got a Cuban rock iguana named Iggy. Iggy having some food. And that white powder you see in the lettuce is usually calcium powder. Calcium is very important for these animals. Got chinchilla. Rocky and Bullwinkle. Oh my gosh, you're so cute and fuzzy. You're so cute and fuzzy, aren't you? You are super cute and fuzzy. Yeah. And there's the other one right up above. Yeah, oh my gosh, so super cute. Climbing all the way up, yeah. Hi! <laughs> right inside we got the mill. Some parents are going to be in here while their kids play. Probably need some caffeine to stay awake. Oh, they have the spider monkeys. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at that. Ooh, oh yeah. Look at that, man. These guys are... Dude, you showing your butt? Oh my gosh, that's so rude. He just showed his butt to me. He just shoot his hiney to me. That's gonna be a boy. Yeah, it's a boy. Got to explain that. He showed his behind to me. Naughty boy. Yeah. That is cool. Very curious about my camera. <laughs> like how they can use her tail as another arm. They do have restroom locations inside. All right, so showing the map again. What about a giraffe barn? So I'm gonna go check out the cheetahs. It's called the stream. And kids can actually play in the water here. Hot day like this, absolutely to cool off. So in addition to the maps, they do have arrows pointing to the different areas. Got another cool play structure for the kids. This is a children's zoo after all. 
So they do have animal presentations. This is Cheetah Cub Corner. You see some seating right here. That's the area I'm in right now. Just on the other side of the giraffe. We've got a giant anteater. Giant anteater habitat. I right, say so ant eater's probably inside at the moment also. So again, I'll check back. We got cheetah. There we go. Very, very pretty. Hanging out in the shade. Of course, these animals are used to the heat also. Very nice looking habitat in here also. Very nice kitty cat. So the cubs are in the back. Very pretty kitty. I got a young giraffe in there too. Even when they're little, they're big, if you know what I mean. See these big blocks spell out zoo. All right, so I'm heading over to the other portion of the zoo. Gonna cross the railroad tracks. See Zoo Railroad. See the train depot. I'll go for a ride on the train a little bit later. You get an Explorer Pass where you get goat and camel feed, giraffe feed, and train ride for $6. Right behind the train depot, you have restroom locations. All right, so showing you the map again. Did everything in below part. You see where I'm at. I played an animal counter stage. So I'm gonna explore this area and see everything over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head to the left and follow the pathway around. Then I come back to the train depot and then I will take the train. Got some information here about Joel Sartor. He's a National Geographic photographer and he's from Lincoln, Nebraska. Got the animal encounter stage. Nothing happening today, evidently. All right, we got some emu. I do you like these birds? Hi, guys. So they're pecking at something. Got the hand feed emu and pet them in the past. They're very uh, rough feathers. And their beaks hurt when you peck the food out of your hand. Got clouded leopard. And clouded leopard habitat. All sorts of stuff to be on. So I am not currently seeing the clouded leopard. So I'm gonna be in the back. So I will check back. Next up we got Bobcat. Bobcat's got a very nice habitat. Oh, and I see Bobcat right here. Hi, Bob. Hi. How you doing, kitty cat? About the size of a large house cat. They got that cute stubby tail. You pretty kitty, huh? Yeah, pretty kitty cat. Now we got Animal Kingdom here to the left. All right, gonna go inside the Animal Kingdom building. Got Matchy's tree kangaroo. However, it is not here at the moment. Got panda bears painted on the side. More stuff painted. Oh, we got red-tailed boa. There is the snake. These guys are able to climb. See this shelf is way up on the wall. So we'd have to climb up the tree and reach over 
and get on the shelf. There's a Cuban rock iguana. Rock iguana has a very nice looking habitat. Right up here on its hammock. Looks very comfy. Then we've got southern free banded armadillo. Armadillo habitat. So armadillo is apparently kind of under here. So this is what they look like. I'll check back a little bit later. Hopefully we'll be able to see them. Got greater bush baby. This is a darker habitat. So I am looking. Looking around. Possibly going to be up in this box right here. But this is what they look like. So again, I'll stop back later. We got Sand Cat. Yeah, Sand Cat's got a nice habitat. Oh, I better know what a Sand Cat is. Yep, yep, right here inside of the little round tube. Really super fuzzy. Next up we got a fennec fox. Fennec fox has a very nice habitat. Ooh, oh, there we go. There's the fennec fox. The fennec fox is sleeping. Try to be quiet because he got those big ears and he'll be able to hear me. Really cute. Yeah, Fennec Fox has a other part of the habitat. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that is cute. Whoever their artist was that did all this painting did an excellent job. That green tree python. That's a really nice habitat for green tree python. And I see some snake skin, which means this pretty snake recently shed. Typically, green tree snakes are going to be wrapped up in a branch just like this. However, occasionally I've come upon them at zoos on the ground. Got a naked mole rat. See their food chamber. Look at all the tunnels. There we go. <laughs> Just like walking right over them. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, this is mimics the natural habitat that they would dig underground. They got all different chambers. Yes, each chamber has its own function. You see here's the nesting area, that's where they all are. That must be the bedroom. Then you have one of these chambers would be like the bathroom. Here we go. All kind of piled on top of each other. Got a Honduran milk snake. This is also a very nice habitat. Ah, oh, there we go. Snakes underneath its hollow log. Oh boy, slender tailed meerkat. Oh, the way this guy is sitting. It's just chilling out. There we go. Really cute animals. So we got access to go to this other side. 
Lots of stuff to climb on, things to climb in. Next up, we got Gila Monster. There we go, it's kind of crammed inside. Looks like he is shedding also. We got Cotton Top Tamarin. Cotton Top Tamarin's got all sorts of stuff to climb on. Hey, it's one of the cute fuzzies right here. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Tamarins are usually uh, either really, really skittish or very curious. Usually they're very curious. I just have them like literally run from one side to come over. Very inquisitive little animals. I'm just curious of my camera. See? Yeah. That's a lot of fuzzies. They also usually have Rodriguez fruit bat. However, several of these habitats have paint on the glass, so I'm not sure what's going on with the renovating the areas. That's what the fruit bat looks like. Also, same thing with the two-toed sloth and Brazilian agati. So I spoke to one of the workers, they're doing some maintenance and renovating of the habitats. I also normally have a prevote squirrel. And also golden lion tamarin are unavailable. So this happens occasionally. They gotta maintain the habitats. There was a little scratch in the paint there and I looked inside. What you're hearing is a shop vac. They are cleaning out the drain that's in there. So I'm not sure what needs to be open again. And they do have restroom locations in here. Just to show you another of the fantastic paintings. Got Wrangler Roundup. We've had pony rides and camel feed. However, pony rides are closed for the season. From what the signage says. We got some goats. Got African pygmy goat and Nubian goat. Hey, goaty goats! Another one enjoying a little snack. We got a nice fan right here blowing. Hey. How are you? It's just kind of stomping at me. Like, hey, 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 stay back. Got the goat's little play structure. Because after all, these are our kids. Got some other goaties on the other side. Hi, goaty goat. Guys inside. Do have some food dispensers here for 50 cents. You can feed the goats. And we got Critter Outpost. Guess normally we'd have other animals here for the kids to interact with. There's a hand wash sink here. All right, so it is late in the summer, getting at the end of August. So school age kids, you can be heading back to school. That's the reason why a lot of this stuff is not open anymore because it's end of their, of their season. We got Humboldt Penguin. There's the penguin habitat. Looks like everybody is inside. This is always cool. The penguins wear different colored armbands, so you can tell their different names. All right, we got Tortoise Trek. Here we got Galapagos tortoise. How you doing? Just kind of hanging out near the water. Totally understand, buddy. 
This is a juvenile. It does have lots of space. Got blue and gold macaw. All right, so normally the macaw would be outside. However, I do see the macaw is indoors. It's gonna be nice and cool in there for the animals. Lots of stuff to to play with. Next up, we got red-footed tortoise. For the tortoise habitat. Oh, he's got a peacock visitor. There we go, and there's a red footed tortoise. There we go. Dude, you're totally photobombing, man. You now, peacocks actually lose their tail feathers and regrow them each year. Yeah, peacock's getting a drink. So I was just kind of looking like, dude, what are you doing? This is my water. All right, we got African spurred tortoise. Here we go. So also known as Sulcata tortoises. And just in case you are not aware, I do have a African spurred tortoise that lives at my house in the backyard. I got a good sized backyard and his name is Sheldon. And he hangs out back there. All right, now we've got a leopard tortoise. Got several of them in here. And another one. And you got a little pond also to hang out in if they choose to. Got another birdie perch right here. However, this macaw is also inside. Keep it nice and cool. Got a slide over here, and kids can pretend to be tortoises. Gotta imagine that slide would be really hot today though. And we got a rain garden. These are very good to have. Several different types of birds here. We got Caribbean flamingo, European white stork, Vulture and guinea fowl. East African crown crane. White faced whistling duck. Indian blue peafowl. Saw one of these birds over. Alright, see the flamingos. Didn't see them, but I kept hearing them. Alright, there's the guinea fowl. There's the storks. Of course, the crown crane. Got that awesome hairdo at the top. Got another cool playground. And a little house. And they got Stego's Dino Dig. Got the rainforest room, parties, meetings, and events. If you like birthday parties, another one of their snack stands. However, it's not a very busy day, so this is not open. We do have restaurant locations. North American River Otters in Nebraska. River Otter Habitat. Be in the water. Of course, more than likely they're gonna be in the back here. I take that back. Just saw them. So kind of like almost comatose, but then they started moving a little bit. That's how I noticed them. Having a nice nap. Of course, Otter wants to cool off to get the water to go in. Oh, oh my gosh. I accidentally woke him up. He must have heard me. He must have heard me. Sorry, Otter. I didn't mean to wake you up. Sorry. That's okay, I'll go back to sleep. We got this little turtle pond. Lots of turtles in here. Oh, 
a West African dwarf crocodile. Got a good sized habitat. Looking for him, looking for him. Oh, there we go. There we go. They had to be in here somewhere. This is nice. Got all the koi fish. And goldfish. There's a bolt a type of carp. And despite what some people believe, goldfish do not grow up to become koi. They're totally different. So do you like the landscaping? There's plenty of benches all throughout the zoo. Got the eagle experience. And go inside. All right, bald eagle. Oh, wow, yes. Beautiful bird. Now, whenever you see a bald eagle in a zoo, they're here because they are injured. Usually their wings that prevents them from flying. So they're not able to defend for themselves out in the wild. So they come here as basically an ambassador to their species. Huh. Yeah, you're a pretty bird, aren't you? Very pretty bird. Got one of the workers starting to put up all of the lights. Even though it's still August, Christmas is going to be here before you know it. Alright, so I'm back near the train station and looking at the map, I missed a few of the animals. Because I took this pathway here. So I got to head back because I missed the camel. So I'm going to head back there now. I backtracked over by tortoise trek and I did not go down this pathway. Walking down the pathway, I came across a wild rabbit. Cute little bunny. Hi, baby. I know it's kind of funny I'm at a zoo and I get excited for a wild animal. All right, ring-tailed lemur. This is the lemur habitat. Not seeing them. So I'll come back. Now the playground area. All right, see fossa. See fossa's habitat. Very nice, lots of stuff to climb on. I actually do see the fossa. There we go. Just chilling out, having a nap in the shade. It's a cute animal. Hi, hey, fossa. All right, we got the aviary. All right, so these are the birds that are in the aviary. White-faced Lewis on duck. Tawny Frogmouth, Scarlet Ibis, Wood Duck, Great Mally Argus Pheasant, Hammer Cop, Violet Turico, and Snowy Egret. Birdies, how you doing? Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's a pretty bird. Scarlet Ibis. Now around where I'm from, Florida, we have White Ibis that are wild birds. But of course we don't have scarlet ibis down there. Get one of the duckies. Hi duckies! This is a hammer cop. It's a cool looking bird. White faced whistling duck. And Violet turaco. Came closer. Hi baby. What's up birdie bird? And the great Mally Argus pheasant. How you doing? So I'm not saying the snowy egret that's gonna be inside. You're a pretty bird, aren't you? 
Yeah. Such a pretty bird. We even got a little bit of red on its wings. All right, dromedary camel or one hump camel. How you doing? Other one there. Give me, give me a bite. Give me a lick. <laughs> or give me a kiss. Got a little too close. Hi. Look at him. He's like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Looks like I've been doing some maintenance here. Got a lot of new wood. There we go. Getting a snack. Yeah, getting a snack. Oh, we got the hive. Oh, lots of critters in here. Plus, it's air conditioned. I'm going to hang out here for a little while. Oh, we got a Cuban rock iguana. It's very nice habitat. All right. Very nice. It's a little darker coloration. We got American honeybee. This thing actually turns, so here's the other side. Right around the back, they have this tunnel so you can go in and out. A new Caledonian gecko. Yeah, this is a nice looking habitat. They try and find them. But they even got a mister at the top. All right, so I looked all over and I'm not seeing the gecko. So some are hiding. Or actually, it could be in plain sight. I'm just not noticing them. All right, Madagascar hissing cockroach. Got some creepy crawlies here. I actually got to hold one of these guys, not here, but at another facility. I know they look gross, but you know, and they kind of tickle as they walk on you. We got a Brazilian salmon bird eating tarantula. See all the webbing. Actually thought this was the tarantula at first, but it's not. Lots of spider web. All right, so I'm not seeing the tarantula, but if you look down right, right here, there's a little, little sort of cave right there, and that's most likely where the spider is. Got a legless lizard. Looking around, and there is right there. There we go. Very neat. Here we go, like Mally Ermastix. Ooh. He's chubby. Seems supposed to look like that. You got a blue tongue skink. It's a very nice looking habitat. There we go. There we go. Can't turn around. Got a ball python. Python has a very nice tank. Oh, here is the snake. So very popular types of snakes in the pet industry. Get a rose hair tarantula. Also nice habitat. Oh, there it is. There we go. There we go. It's inside. Got leopard gecko. Leopard gecko is right inside. See part of them. See the tail, at the leopard spots. Got a Mexican red knee tarantula. Here we go. There is the tarantula. 
Got a painted wood turtle. Alright. Now I gotta find oh here we go. There we are. That's a cute turtle. This guy's got a nice size habitat. Got White's tree frog. There we go. There is the froggy. Right there we've got an Amazon milk frog. Also very nice habitat. And I almost missed him right here in its water dish until he kind of moved, repositioned himself. A couple of these tanks are empty. Others have things like exoskeletons and skeletons. And snake shed. You got some really pretty butterflies from around the world. Alright, so I'm glad I double checked the map because there's quite a few things over here that I missed. I got a white cheek gibbon. There is their habitat. All sorts of stuff to swing on. Not currently seeing them. Of course, you have access to be inside also. Alright, and there's Columbus Monkey. Very nice habitat also. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we see one of them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, he's zoomed in too fast. They also have access to go inside. Got that long fur and that long fuzzy tail. Now, when you're a kid, you most likely had animal crackers at some point. They were little animal shaped cookies that came in a box that looked similar to this. I don't know if you've noticed it lately, but uh, probably about, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago, they took the bars off of the, off the package. Alright, so the pathway leads me right back to this area. The playground is and the the dino dig area. Alright, so I'm gonna head over and see if the train is running. I'm not even sure if the train's running today because it's such a low attendance. Uh, possibly because of the heat. I'm not 100 percent sure yet. I'm back up beyond by the river otter because I'm passing by. Moved a little bit. Get a little bit better look. All right, so I do see the train. It was not here earlier. There's nobody in the train ticket booth. So I'm gonna check up front if I can purchase a train ticket at the gift shop. Ooh, look at that, I see a red squirrel. Looks like he's really hot. Just funny the bench and just collapsed. So we got red squirrels in Florida, we just got the gray squirrel. Okay, I so saw one of the workers going by. I asked about the train. The train is not running again until 4 p.m. A little bit later, because it's usually slow attendance or it's too hot. So, I'll be here for a while and I'll see about going out later. All right, so I'm back up front at the main entrance. So this basically concludes my initial walkthrough. There were several animals that I didn't see. 
So now I'm going to go back and rewalk. Hopefully show you some more animals that weren't out. Right, so before my rewalk, I'm going to go have some lunch. I right, so do have some grab and go stuff. All right, so I got a souvenir bottle. Because refillable. Since I'm going to be here for, you know, maybe a couple more hours. So first up, I'm back at the Sumatran tiger habitat, and the tiger is still not out, apparently. So I'll check back again later. All right, giant anteater is still not out. So again, I'll check back later, you know, a little bit later. Came back to the cheetah again. Yeah. It's pretty kitty cat. Oh. <laughs> Rolled over for me. <laughs> Alright, so August is typically the hottest month of the year. So I usually don't do my road trips in August. However, I was kind of forced to do this later on just because of, uh, of work scheduling. So I'm doing the best I can. Hopefully, going to see some of the other animals cannot make any guarantees because of the heat. However, the zoo is open tonight till 8 o'clock. I'm probably not going to be here that late because it's only around uh, about 2 o'clock. But I will do the best I can. I right, so showing the lower part of the map again. It was only two animals that I didn't see. The Sumatran tiger and the giant eight eater. Area up here uh, there was only, I think, one or two. Came back to the emus. Up nice and close now. What's up? Ooh. Look how they make that loud grunty noise. And there's two in the back. How you doing? These birds are related to the ostrich. All right, came back and clouded leopard is now outside. Hi, kitty cat. Hi. Wow, such a pretty cat. How are you doing? Glad you're out. I missed you when I first came in here. Probably inside the air conditioning, huh? Yeah. Very pretty kitty. All right, Bobcat's in the same spot as it was first time. All right, evidently Southern Free Banded Armadillo is still inside the little box area. It's not the only thing I can assume is that's where it's at. But just in case I don't see them, it's what they look like. Oh, I came back to the greater bush baby and the bush baby's out now. It's a super cute animal. Super, super cute. They have red light in there because red light doesn't affect these animals. They're used to darkness. So red light allows us to see them a little bit, but it's not going to hurt their eyes. Came back to the sand cat. Sand cat is out of its tunnel. Here we go. Sand cat is small like a house cat size. So yeah, very cute. Well, one cat, Joey, is uh, about this size. Passing back by the meerkat, this one is just up here. He's kind of staring at me. So cute. I'm gonna go to go to over here with. There you go. Yeah, just making a noise. Meh. There's the other one. Hi. You're so cute. You're so cute. You are. You're adorable, aren't you? I came back by the penguin habitat. Penguin is still inside. There you go. Now I see one of them. Oh, there he's gone. The doorway is open. However, the gate to come down to the water is closed. Not sure why that is. 
But at least I got to show you the penguin. Got Laura's butterfly pavilion. I actually missed this my first time through. That's uh, just as well, it's not open. Guessing it's now butterfly season. That may be a reason why. Now they came around the side. You can still see. Because it's kind of like this netting on the outside. That's what it looks like inside. Another red squirrel. <laughs> I like the way they just lay flat when they're tired. It's a different red squirrel from before. Alright, back at the ringtail lemur habitat. This was the other animal I didn't see. Don't see them out. I'm not even sure if they have access to come out here. Because I'm looking at this little area here. I don't know if this is their evening habitat or if it's in those doors. Because those two doors are closed. Passing back by the camel. Hey man, what's up? Ooh, big camel yawn. Wait, Chief Gibbon is out now. That's the other animal I missed, first time through. Cool. <laughs> it's so cool it runs over. There we go. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, he's showing off. So I always suggest you come back. If you go to a zoo, you don't see the animal the first time. Oh, the Columbus monkeys are out now. I really like these animals. Ooh, fourth one. Came back by the African Crown Crane. Ooh, hi. How are you? Ooh, there we go. Oh, cool. Very nice. Thank you. Doing a little dance. Doing a little dance, yeah. Oh, the flamingos are out now. Wait, don't walk away. Hold up a second. Wait a sec. Birds. Birds. Yes, these are Caribbean flamingos. Really cool, you see how they have the black tips to their wings. Very nice birdies, aren't you? Yeah. Yes, yes you are. I think I might have missed these this morning, coming through my first time. Uh, but even if I did, they're, they're, they're cool. Better view then. See the other white stork. Otters in the water this time, all right. Yay. That's the best place to see the otters when they're in the water swimming around. Alright, so there's still four animals that I didn't see. Ringtail lemur, three-banded armadillo, a mer tiger, and the an anteater. So it's almost four o'clock. I'm gonna go for a ride on the train. And after the train, I'll try back a third time. All right, so I went back to the gift shop, got my train ticket for $3. They're not doing the train now until 4.30. So it got a little bit longer to, to wait. That's okay. Came back in a spider monkey. 
came inside some of air conditioning while I'm waiting for the train. Drop a snack. I do like the red panda habitat because they have this little bridge here that they can climb over and go into a little center area. Of course, red panda is spending the day inside. A lot of space though. All right, I am on the train. I am the sole passenger on the train. Hello, since you're the only person, we still have to give out our rules of the train. So please stay seated, keep your arms, legs, and the rest of your body parts inside the coach. <clears throat> if you happen to lose anything off the train, please do not try to go get it. That's a bad idea. Just wait until we stop. And you can ask Ken, our engineer, or myself, David, the, <clears throat> the conductor and we'll have somebody or we will go get it for you ourselves so just kick back sit back and enjoy the ride all right cool
thank you. Thank you. Well, that was a fun train ride. Now from the train, passing by the lemur habitat, I actually saw the lemurs. They're in the back, but I did see them. So I'm gonna head back there right now and hopefully be able to show them to you. All right, there's got this really nice eagle statue. We're here by the bald eagle. I also noticed there's several areas that got brand new concrete. So that shows the zoo is receiving funding. All right, there we go. I do see a lemur. So I just look at him through the mesh. Oh yeah, that's the lemur. That's the lemur I saw when the train was going by. He's kind of sitting there looking at me. I'm sure everybody watching has seen ringtail lemurs before, but just in case you've never seen them, this is what they look like. Really super cute. All right, so I came back to the fossa. Same spot as it was before. There we go. All right, earlier on the way to ride the train, I saw two workers walking by, and I asked them why the fence was up to keep the penguins from coming outside. So I see that the fence was removed, so the penguins actually have access to come outside now. However, they're all still inside. Just can't win. All right, came back. Kitty cat's walking around now. Hi, pretty kitty. Hi, pretty kitty. Hi, meow meow. Yeah, cloud leopards are so cute. Not 100% sure, but I think this is a is a younger, you know, younger aged animal. All right, so I came back a third and final time for the side of the three-baited armadillo, still apparently in its little box there. So this is officially a no-go. I came back to the anteater for a third time, and I do see him. It's just inside the doorway. Oh, I see another anteater back there. Hoping the guy's going to come outside. Be able to see him better. You should get that. Technically, I got to see him. Aunt Eater, come outside. There we go. There we go. Kind of pacing back and forth. Just inside. And it looks like there's another one behind the other closed door. There we go. All right, glad I got to see this one. Come here, I got some juicy ants for you to eat. Come here. You want some ants? I got some for you. I, mean, I feel bad, I really don't, but you know. All right, came back to the tiger habitat, and the tigers are out. Oh, this one's going back in. There's the other one, all right. It's my third time coming back. Very nice. So yeah, it has cooled down slightly. So it's good to see the kitty cat out. See, persistence pays off. Very nice. And they came back to the red panda. Red panda's in a little hammock. Enjoying some leaves. Oh, there's a second one. There's a second one. Oh my gosh, there you go. Yeah. So yeah, pandas were inside for the day due to the heat. Really super fuzzy. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for my visit to the Lincoln Children's Zoo in Lincoln, Nebraska. Had a fantastic time. It was a very hot day. So there was only one animal now that I actually didn't get to see, which was the armadillo. Because I got to see the lemur technically and the penguins technically. Uh, even though they weren't really out in their habitat, I did get to see a glimpse of them. 
And the same thing with the giant eight eater. I was very happy about that. The one I was worried about getting to see was the tiger, and but I just saw saw both of them before the one went inside. So that's pretty cool. So leave some comments down below what your favorite zoo animal was that I saw today. Lots to choose from, actually. Pretty really good facility. Oh my god. It's a really good facility. It is geared towards children, but adults can come here and enjoy it also. I'm an adult. I enjoyed it. So if you are not already subscribed to my channel, I go to zoos, aquariums, theme parks, amusement parks, state and national parks, quirky roadside attractions all over the country. Upload new videos every Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So look at my videos if this is your first time on my channel, first time seeing a video. Check out all my other videos. I have over 400 of them. More coming all the time. Thank you everybody for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.